Knowing our lesser qualities, accepting what we have been and what we have done is not a death sentence. We can change. We will change when we have a higher power in our lives to deal with self-centered fear and ask him to remove those newly uncovered and discovered shortcomings. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, are you an egomaniac with an inferiority complex, or have you found faith in a higher power? May 4th, thought for the day. When I was drinking, I always tried to build myself up. I used to tell tall stories about myself. I told them so often that I half believe some of them now, even though I know they aren't true. I used to hang around the lowbrow bar rooms so I could feel superior to the other customers. The reason I always tried to build myself up was that I knew deep down in my heart that I really didn't amount to anything. It was a kind of defense against my feeling of inferiority. Do I still build myself up? Meditation for the day. God thought about the universe and brought it into being. His thought brought me into being. I must think God's thoughts after him. I must often keep my mind occupied with thoughts about God and meditate on the way he wants me to live. I must train my mind constantly in quiet times of communion with God. It is the work of a lifetime to develop to full stature spiritually. This is what I am on earth for. It gives meaning to my life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may think God's thoughts after him. I pray that I may live as he wants me to live. We wanted our fantasies to be true. We knew we were fabricating our hero stories, and some people believed it. So we continued to lie, and after a while, we couldn't differentiate the true from the false. Our friends, our associates, probably knew we were blowhards, but they were the dregs of society like us, but we felt like we were not as bad as them. We justified our drinking and bad behavior by comparing ourselves to them, never giving them a chance. Our prejudices blinded us to their humanness as we spiraled down further. Our delusion was real. We thought we were powerful, better than the next guy, but at the same time felt like frauds, so we drank more to forget. Our egos were overly inflated. We were prideful. We lived in self-centered fear, and we couldn't admit it. We really didn't know it. It had to be someone else's fault. We were victims, or so we thought. We resented everyone, especially those who were successful, and yet we mocked them, pathetically making fun of their success. There was no God in our lives. We pushed him out, and we medicated our inferiority complex away. We thought cutting down others would build ourselves up. We were wrong but didn't have a way to fix it until we surrendered and let our higher power solve our problem. Every human has positive attributes. We are all God's creatures, and when we realize it, we can be ourselves at last. We lied to ourselves for so long we lost our identity. We lied because we couldn't accept ourselves for who we were. How could anyone else love us when we didn't love ourselves? Through the steps and finding our higher power, we set on a course to experience the joy and peace of acceptance. Our hearts fill with love and serenity. We become vulnerable when we work with others on the same journey. We are reborn, turning our lives over to the care of our higher power so we can uncover, discover, and discard our defects of character. When we are finally honest with another man, leaving nothing out, 
we grow closer to our higher power and our fellows. We are right-sized. No better than anyone else and not less than. Humility is now our descriptor. Our ego is in check. Our mission is to align our will with his will, doing the next right thing, which means not doing the self-serving thing. How we can be helpful is our mission. It gets us closer to our creator. Consider. Are you an egomaniac with an inferiority complex, or have you found faith in a higher power? May 4th, thought for the day. When I was drinking, I always tried to build myself up. I used to tell tall stories about myself. I told them so often that I half believe some of them now, even though I know they aren't true. I used to hang around the lowbrow bar rooms so I could feel superior to the other customers. The reason I always tried to build myself up was that I knew deep down in my heart that I really didn't amount to anything. It was a kind of defense against my feeling of inferiority. Do I still build myself up? Meditation for the day. God thought about the universe and brought it into being. His thought brought me into being. I must think God's thoughts after him. I must often keep my mind occupied with thoughts about God and meditate on the way he wants me to live. I must train my mind constantly in quiet times of communion with God. It is the work of a lifetime to develop to full stature spiritually. This is what I am on earth for. It gives meaning to my life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may think God's thoughts after him. I pray that I may live as he wants me to live. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.